I see it. Good morning, everyone. This is Ramajan and Catherine Carrigan with What is Social Media Today? Teaching you how to win the game of social media. Today we have a special guest, and I mean special. Uh, this is uh, Frank McKinley, uh, author, and Frank has a great idea. And uh, you know, we uh, luckily for us, we we talked with Frank a little bit last week, and the gears started going in my head. And I have to say that this is a great idea, and it's so simple. Uh, and, and this fits Frank's character. I don't know Frank at all, but I was up on his website and I got the impression that Frank is a no-nonsense kind of guy. He does not go for frills, uh, but he is very practical. And that's just from looking at, at a couple of his pages and posts, okay? I mean, this is, uh, this is his identity and his idea is so, um, so basic that, uh, you know, we are so glad that uh, he consented to speak to us about this. So, Frank, if you want to introduce yourself a little bit and talk about your idea, um, let's go. All right, let's go. Hi, I'm Frank McKinley, as Rama just told you. Um, I've been writing probably on a regular basis since about 2006, but I really didn't get super serious about it until say 2014 and that all started with some leadership stuff I was writing for work which I turned into the books that have now sold over 25,000 copies and that's been a lot of fun for me but in the last year I've really gotten even more serious if you can uh, imagine that I've just decided that this is a time in my life when I want to make writing the thing that I do now right now I'm still working and I'm working with this client as an employee and they're also my client too it's kind of a unique relationship but the thing that has helped me the most to get the attention that every writer wants every writer needs in order to build a business or to build a life is a Facebook group now let me give you a little background about how I got involved with it. Well, first, I'm taking a course, the Tribe Writers course. I think Catherine, you're familiar with that one. And what comes with that is a Facebook group, actually several Facebook groups. And I've been pretty active in those, just trying to help people just, you know, sharing what I'm doing and how it's, you know, it relates to the course that we're taking. And I've gotten to meet a lot of fantastic people in that group and forged some good relationships. And that is the beauty of a Facebook group, for sure, is that you're given this space in order to interact with people who are doing the same thing that you are, who want to achieve a lot of the same things that you do. And, you know, as far as, hey, I want to get my work out there. I want people to notice it. And I want to interact with some other people who are doing the same thing and learn from them and help those people. Now, when it came time to develop and create my own group, the actual creating part is pretty easy. The tricky part is getting people to care about what your group is about. I mean, anybody can start a group, just like anybody can write a book and upload it to Amazon. And, you know, it could be good or it could be crap, but the door is open. You can do it. Now, what I did was I saw a need. Every Friday, we have this share thread where you can take your latest blog post or something that you're doing and share it with the group in the hope that they'll take that and say, okay, yeah, I'm going to tell my friends about it because this is great. And in return, you do the same thing for these, you know, at least a few of the other people. So I thought, okay, well, that's great. I love this. And every Friday I'd put something in. But then it dawned on me that if you really want to take this to the next level, one day a week is really not enough for that to happen. So I pulled the group. I, I said, hey, let's do this little experiment. Why don't we intentionally like 
comment and share five other writers blog posts and I had maybe 30, 40 people say, yeah, man, that's great. I'm in. Let's do this. So we did it that one Friday. And then as like you, Rama, my brain started churning and I started thinking of things. Okay, well, what, what else can we do with this? I mean, it's great, but, you know, where can, how can we take this further? So I proposed this idea. I said, well, who would like to do this every day of the week if there were space to do it? And again, right off the bat, maybe 30, 40 people said, yeah, man, I'd love to do that. So I created this group. I called it the Tribe Builders Network because, I mean, that says exactly what we're all trying to do. We all know we need a tribe and we can come hand in hand and build that tribe. I mean, I help you, you help me, and it's a great environment to do that. Well, one of the keys... Well, that's, that's the, the key part first, is to get something that people are interested in. I already had an interested group, and here we are. We're, we have this space now where at least five days a week, we can go to some social media site. Like on Monday, we use Medium. And Medium is a blogging platform, but to me, it really is social media. And then on Tuesday, we do Twitter. Wednesday, we do Facebook. And then we have a day where we can just sort of help each other in different ways like okay what project are you working on and how can we help you make that project come alive and reach the people you want to reach and then on friday just recently we've implemented this we have a day where we can all share the wins we've had for the week and cheer each other on and that's a, I mean, that's been lots of fun. In fact, that was came from a suggestion from somebody in the group where, you know, randomly we would say, Hey, you know, I won this or, you know, I, I had my post on medium get viewed by a thousand people and I just wanted to share it with the group. This was just a place where, you know, you can do that without feeling like, Hey, do I have to ask first before, you know, I can share this. So I, it, it's been pretty phenomenal. So the keys here, is first have a great idea that people are already interested in second once they're in the group you got to give them stuff to do so that they'll have a reason to come there every day get excited about it you know and see some results and we have had lots of people see results when they've shared their stuff and people have come in and done the same thing with theirs and i've seen a lot of traction too and it's been great and that's the beauty of this thing. Now we had one, one of my admins has actually taken this to the next level and started a medium publication. Um, how many of, if you're familiar with medium, I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. But, um, she's created this publication for writers who are new to the game and just want more attention. And this is a place where I think they have seven categories where you can post and, have an audience right there ready for your work and this i think this thing has been this publication has been alive for about a month and she's already gotten two hundred thousand people to come and look at the at the website side of things and now that's that's fantastic so i mean just a testament to what a great idea can do for you and it's got to be well implemented you know give them something to do give them a place to do it and just help them. And when you help them do that, it just gets everybody excited and you just get a, this snowball effect of momentum that goes on and on. And it makes it a lot easier to manage things when people are excited and doing things. And when you feel like you have to pride, 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 <laughs> you know, there's a big difference between the two. Now I would say probably our best, activity in the group and the one that's been most productive for people and is the medium experiment we do every monday uh, i think i looked last week and there were over 400 comments on our medium experiment on monday now when i say 400 there's a lot of people posting maybe 30 40 50 people sharing their work but then there's a lot of, yeah, I tweeted that. Yeah, I commented on that. You know, there's interaction going on, conversation. And I think that's something you miss 
more say maybe on Twitter or some of the other networks. I mean, you can do it, but I, I just feel like on Facebook, there's a, a greater motivation to interact with people on there. At least that's what I've found when uh, I've had my most success on Facebook. So get a good idea, create a Facebook group for it. And if you've got a tribe already, great. If you don't, now here's something you can do to attract people. Facebook allows you, when you set up your group, to use five tags. And what tags are is those search terms that people use to look for a place to do what they're doing. Now, I think in mine, I've put stuff like, I've used the word tribe or writing or, you know, just things that pertain naturally to what the group is all about. And that's a, that's been a great way to create some organic growth. I mean, yeah. I had a lot of friends at first and uh, they would join. And just when I have conversations like this in this room here, uh, people have come on board at that time or, you know, when I share in a medium post or on my blog and happen to mention the group, people will come in from that. So that's a great, just non uh, expensive way to promote what you're doing and get people to join on. And you'll find that group is probably the most loyal tribe that you have got. And um, here's one little golden nugget for those of you who have stayed to the end of this, and I'm probably about at the end of my 10 minutes, but when you're writing a book, it's really the same thing. If you want to sell that book, you've got to make and I can summarize this in two words. You've got to make an emotional connection. And it doesn't matter whether you're writing a nonfiction book or a fiction book. I mean, if you think about it, when you're sitting in a movie, you enjoy it more when your emotions are involved. If they're not, well, it's a nice, expensive place to go to sleep. You know, as my friend said, I just took an expensive nap with my kid this afternoon because I went to this movie. <laughs> And it bored me to tears. <laughs> but when you get your emotions involved, man, you, you are active. You're connected. I mean, there could be a fire in the theater and you wouldn't notice it because you're so engaged with that. And storytellers that succeed do this well. I mean, if you go to the front page of Amazon on any given day and you look at the top 100, I'll bet you seven out of 10 or more are stories. So emotional connection is the key in any book you write, any book description you publish. You've, if you make that emotional connection, you'll make sales. So that's I'm ready for questions that anybody has. I think I saw some come up, but I was so busy talking. I wasn't able to respond to them. Can you see those? <laughs> Um, yes, uh, Frank, give me one second to close out this uh, recording. Uh, this has right. been uh, Ramajan and Catherine Carrigan with What is Social Media Today? Teaching you how to win the game of social media. Our guest was Frank McKinley, and Frank's great idea really is great. <laughs> Thank you.